to another short and sweet where the samples and reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they sent it. Today we're looking at 15 stars private stock. Mm. Now Chad, I'm not familiar with this one. Mm -hmm. Well, it's new. It's new. And hard to open. Got it. So this is a blend of seven and 15 year old stuff. You know me, Mr. Buy the Book mm. has a little issue with it because you know, the so it's seven year. Like if they were to age state it, it Which I guess they're say, technically not. Well, they are and they aren't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically. It's more like they're just putting a fact on the label. But I think because they put the seven, as long as they put the seven and acknowledge it, it's okay. Yeah. I think the way that most people go is they put the seven and then somewhere on the back they will put a blend of yeah. seven and yeah. 15 and all that. Yeah. So. It's seven year bourbon because you have to list the, so the, the age statement, if you are age stating, has to be the youngest in the blend. It's so. a blend of a minimum of seven years and a maximum of 15 years. Boom, All right. And it is 107 proof, which I like it. Love that proof. Real quick, cause I know it's short and sweet, but Rick and Ricky Johnson, that's a real Fred and Freddy. No, isn't there. <laughs> Father and son team, uh, popcorn company. They started by wanting to know if the corn they used for their popcorn could be used to make bourbon. Sounds they... like my science fair experience. Right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Barstown Bourbon Company. They started doing some stuff. They're like, yes, yes we can. And now they are. They're distilling and bottling at Barstown Bourbon Company, although nothing of this age. So this is source things. Um, but will one day be. But yeah, one day. Just still by Barstown Bourbon Company. Doing, doing their own stuff. My big personal flaw is nosing source stuff and immediately trying to guess where it's sourced Oh, from. right. That's always a fun game. It's not immediately jumping out at me. We'll have to see on the taste. Yeah, but there is a note of familiarity in there. Mm, there is. It's for sure something I've had before. Maybe something I've had recently. But your classic caramel vanilla, you know, your typical uh, bourbon flavors, you looked it up in the dictionary, if, that, that type of thing. I would say Barton. Possibly Barton. But who knows? We don't know. But it's, who knows? And that's not the game and we'll never know. So right. it doesn't matter. Well, we'll see. To your health. Oh, whoa, little punch. Little punch right there. I think I'm gonna stick with my answer. Although it's probably wrong. Some dark stone fruit mm -hmm. in there. I like that. And see, that is what's making me think that that's mm -hmm. the case, but. Welcome back to Sarah Tries to Guess. And it fails. With your host, <laughs> Sarah. Well, again, we'll never know. That's Can't not why you. they watch the show. 15 Stars got its name uh, from Kentucky being the 15th, 15th state. state. And from 1795 to 1818, there were 15 stars and stripes on the American flag. So 15 stars. Which makes sense. Yep. I like where whatever Ooh. seven and 15 year blend this is sourced from. This is nice. <laughs> Maybe a little drier on the finish, but it's got some rich, mm. those rich flavors and that um, a little bit of the maturity is coming through towards the finish. Kind of dark, a little yeah. mysterious. Yeah, a little dark mysterious. Is it tall? I don't it's know. It's tall. Well, this is short, short and sweet, not tall and sweet. Speaking of sweet though, we should, we should have said this at the very beginning. This was sent to us uh, with no strings attached. Just like, hey, would you like to check it out? We're like, yes. I want And that's the end of do it. Do you want to try this bourbon? <laughs> yes, I do want to try this bourbon. Yeah, we'll try it. Mm. I really like the finish. I like where it's going. Um, and it's got I, a little spice to it, it too. It does. I feel like the palette, and this is sort of like an opposite of what normally happens, typically, the palette seems darker and then the finish seems a little lighter. It goes lighter. Kind of, yeah, yeah, normally it's like mm, Right, you get more of the barrel the and stuff. <laughs> this one seems to be going to a lighter, like, cocoa note in the finish mm. um but it's still slowly trickling down into the kentucky hug not as fast as i would have thought off of that palette it's got a little bit of like a zested orange spice thing going on mm, that pal palette's palette my favorite part mm, it's so good you it's just enjoyable you know right yeah um you would hope it would be enjoyable at the msrp which yes. is 139. yeah this is their second for a release. full size bottle not for this yeah, guy yeah full full 750. Their first release was a 14 year. Now they have this as their second release. Uh, it's pretty limited. Sourcing and uh, limited availability mm -hmm. can all add to uh, higher MSRP. 139, it a little tough to swallow, but this is not tough to swallow. No, it Very is not. Easy. And this is the time when I always get the most torn up about recommend or not, right? Luckily, this isn't uncorking, so we don't tip, uh, technically have we to We don't recommend. have to do that. <laughs> um, we just get to drink it. I like it, I yeah. like it a lot. I don't like paying $140, but right. I do like the taste. Yeah, I would say if you and a buddy or a couple buddies could go in on a bottle and kind of share it, I feel like no one at the end of the night would be mad mm -hmm. <laughs> from the money spent. Every time I think I haven't figured out what this is, I don't know. And now the more I sip it, I'm like, is it a blend of, is the seven and the 15 year from two different distilleries? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling, but we'll, we'll like, never know. Is it Barton? Is it Heaven Hill? Is it Barton? Is it Heaven Hill? Is it something completely <laughs> is it unrelated? Turkey? 
Is it turkey with the spicy? I don't know. Mm. Here's something I can tell you. Our home on the internet is whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt, the tank top that Sarah's wearing, the Glen Cairns that we're drinking from. We also have copitas and rocks glasses. These water glasses, bottle cut candles, hoodies when that weather gets, uh, yeah, hoodie that you're also wearing, zip hoodie and pullovers and hats and more always coming to. And that's whiskeyambitions.com. I think you listed everything that was on the site. I'm so telling. geez, <laughs> you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month, and that is where we release our exclusive barrel picks, the opportunity to participate in a barrel pick, another round with us, and more. All right, hey, that's where we'll leave it. If you haven't subscribed us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, 15 stars. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.